Hey guys, how have you been? It's been a while. Five months, five months. It's been five months since I've made a YouTube video. So this time for this video, I want to show you something a little different other than Adam's apples and all this stuff, Adam's apple videos. So um, I want to show you something extremely different, like really different. So um, yeah, I couldn't get in touch with you because um, my camera broke back in January and my laptop is gone. It's not broken type of gone, it's just gone, disappeared. Don't ask why. It's just gone. But anyways, I don't want I don't have time to talk much about this, but um I'll explain it later, but anyways, I want to I want to get get to what I want to get what I want to show you guys. So, I'm not going to I want to show you some I've been looking at during the summer. Now, it has to do with um the computer with computers. Um I normally don't do this often but um but I'm doing this for the sake of this video. Now I'm not gonna tell you what um when I um after the computer um boots um yeah see my big toe right there I'm gonna press the power button on here power this bad boy up and I'm gonna show you something that I've been wanting to show you what I looked up during the summer. Now if I hit F8 on the booting process, I should get a screen that looks like this. Come on. Okay. Now, most of you may be familiar with this. If you hit F8 on in the booting booting process, um, you should get this screen right here. This is called the Advanced Boot Options menu. Um, now. Bear with me guys, I don't know much about this, so, but I just, I just decided to show this for the sake of this video. So, um, forgive me if I don't know what these options do. So like for instance, um, say I'm showing you repair your computer, cause that's the very first option right there. Um, and I say repair your computer. Um, um, and then I take a while to respond to, um, show you guys, say what this means. So forgive me if that happens. So, um, yeah. Now, first option is repair your computer, which I showed to you just a second ago. Um, what this does is... It takes you to a list of options you can do, like you can s s repair startup problems, you can do re system restore, um, you can run some diagnostics that has to do with memory or involving memory, and cool stuff like that. So, yeah, this is basically what it does. This is what it does, basically. Now, this is the option everyone knows about. This is the most popular option used on advanced boot options. This one is safe mode. Now, this option will take you to um, a limited driver service. So, all some of the services and the drivers are not loaded on here. So, like, for instance, the sound is not enabled on here because its service is disabled so and some applications don't run on here as well so it's basically and it also takes you into a very low screen resolution very low screen resolution yeah and into a very poor resolution setting so so all the service is disabled in safe mode and no internet is accessed in there. I don't know about command prompt. I don't know much about that. So anyways. Now safe mode with networking as I said before. 
it functions exactly the same like safe mode, but it can allow you to access the internet if you want to do internet related research to fix your problems and whatnot. Yeah, so as I said, all the services are disabled, nothing changes, so just bear with me. Now, safe mode with command prompt. Now, this one um, loads up the command prompt window instead of the user interface as you're used to seeing when the after you log on. So you won't see any icons, nor will you see the taskbar. You will only see the command prompt on the whole entire screen. Things like that. So now this one, I'm not, I don't know much about this option, but it's enable boot logging. And what it does, I think it creates a, the ntbootlog.txt probably usually located in the the Windows folder and basically it loads all the drivers that loaded and did not load during the startup process on like on notepad on the notepad application if you're familiar with that so yeah all right back to what I was doing now Enable low resolution video, 640 by 480 in parentheses. Um, boots windows in like a very low screen resolution. So you can like set the display settings on here to, now I don't know much about this option. I don't know a whole lot about this option. Sorry about that. All I know is it's that it takes you to like a very poor resolution, like the resolution, like the screen right here. So, yeah. All right. Last known good configuration, advanced in parentheses. This is useful if your computer booted the last time, booted successfully the last time, but it will not now after you did just one thing, installing a new device or a driver. And this option will roll back all the changes to the last time it booted successfully without any doubt. So, things like that. It rolls back all the changes it made after you installed some and then it changes to your, how do I explain this? I said this before, but, okay, now I forgot. Oh, I know. The last time your computer booted successfully, before you did something that caused your computer to like, to be unbootable. Yeah. Now, directory services restore mode. Now, I know nothing about this option. I'll just read the description right here because I really don't know anything about this one. Start Windows and Directory Services Repair Mode for Windows Domain Controllers Only, in parentheses. Yeah, it's basically for like domain controllers and stuff like that. And I think it runs like safe mode. If I press enter, I think it, it'll run like safe mode and it'll give you a screen that says your system is booting in safe mode, directory services repair mode, something like, something like that. I really don't know. Anyways, debugging mode. Don't know much about this option either, but um, I really don't know anything about these options. I know. I know, I don't know anything about this. Please forget me. Now, I only know some of these, so don't expect me to know all of these. Now, I'll only read the description on the ones I don't know. Enable Windows Kernel Debugger. Yeah. It's basically what it does. Um, yeah. I'm broken up on some sentences. I'm sorry. All right, now... I know this one. Disable automatic restart on system failure. Now, 
this option, if your computer crashed and it stuck in like a continuous loop, like your computer crashes then tries to boot again, this option will stop the um stop the cycle and you'll be able to see what the blue screen is. Say like blue screen of death, for instance, if you want to see what the blue screen of death um, error is, you can hit that option and it'll stop the cycle and you can be able to see the blue screen of death and try to identify what the cause of the problem is on the blue screen of death. So, all right, so two more options to go. Disable driver signature enforcement. This option um, will load all the drivers that are improperly signatured. And, and it'll also load the drivers that are not um, compatible with Windows. I think that's what it does. For most, for most of you computer geeks that know a lot about these, so, last but not least, everyone knows this. Oops. Start Windows normally. Now, this option will take you to the booting process as it would normally, as you normally would. So, so I hope this was helpful for you guys. I'm sorry I don't know much about advanced boot options, but um, I've watched videos of advanced boot options, but, um, somehow I don't know right now, but, um, well, oh, one thing I found out is if you hit the tab button, what the heck? Okay. I swear, um, if you hit tab, um, you should, if your computer runs on multiple operating systems, then, um, you probably would, um, you probably would, um, boot into another operating system. So my computer only runs on one operating system, and that's Windows 7. Yeah. But for some reason, the tab is not working. I don't understand. Or maybe I forgot what button I press to get to that option. But anyways, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Sorry if I don't know any of this stuff. Um, I'm no computer geek myself, but um, anyways, I hope this was helpful for you guys. And I will see you guys momentarily. See you guys later.